Hi everyone, Sandwicher1 again. Uh, this is going to be uh, very close to being the last video in my tutorial series for Linksys Mod Maker. This one is going to be about generating your mod files in installing your mod, and then it is going to be uh, just me showing you the results of uh, going in and testing my mod to see if it worked. So, uh, very simple, the very first step is just to hit generate. So we go down here to this button and we can select anywhere we want for the mod files to generate. I have a folder called tutorial mod. I'm just going to have it oh, I'm going to have it generate right in here. And what it's going to do when I do this is it's going to create a folder called minecraft.jar and it's going to be spelled out um, like that like you can see right here. Um, and then it comes up with this and it says remember to install mod loader and delete meta inf. So, uh, it also has this generate uh, g generation output, which uh, tells you if there's any errors or anything like that. So, uh, usually when I'm installing mods for Mod Maker or from Mod Maker, I close it because in the past I've had some issues where it just does not uh, seem to cooperate, and it kind of messes things up. So I, I just close that. Uh, so right here I have all my mod files, um, the textures and everything are going to be in here in the Linksy folder. Uh, so I can uh, take this and go into my Minecraft uh, right here, uh, open up the jar with an archiver. I use 7-zip and remember to delete meta inf right here because uh, if you don't delete that the mod is just not, well the installation is just going to give you a black screen when you start Minecraft. So you just delete meta inf. Uh, and then take all these files, select them all, and then drag them right in here. Press yes. And so that's actually installed the mod, but I can't run it until I have mod loader installed. So um, you can just uh, Google uh, mod, mod loader for Minecraft, and you should be able to find the forum page for it, and you can download mod loader from there. Uh, so yeah, right here I have this. You just drag all the files right here, drop them in, <clears throat> and so now I have both my mod and mod loader installed onto uh, my Minecraft. So I'm going to go into Minecraft and record me testing the results. So be right back. Hi everyone, Sandwich One again. I'm back. I have um, gone into Minecraft after my mod has been installed to see if things have worked, and obviously they have. Um, I'm wearing redstone armor, I've got the redstone tools in my hands, uh, redstone rod, ingot, uh, cookie, and I've also got some redstone glowstone. And I, I just realized that um, uh, I did not assign that with the glass sound, so it just sounds, sounds like stone. Um, and also, um, I apologize for my textures on some of these things, like the redstone axe is kind of moved to the corner and so is the pickaxe um, and also uh, some of this is just too bright red not enough you know texture to it but yeah you know it's just for the tutorial so um anyways uh this is the block of redstone right here i know there's kind of like a really bright red so i, I could have changed that but uh yeah so this is what it looks like um if you go around uh you can see that these little stupid temples that I made, they uh, they did generate, um, and they're very common, as I said, oh, hey, there's a desert temple over there, yeah, but, hey, my stone temple generated right inside of it, uh, but, yeah, anyways, so, uh, you'll also see these <laughs> random redstone blocks all around, because if you remember, I set them to generate randomly all over the place on the surface, in in one veins, so they have very much, so, Okay, that makes no sense. Yeah, but they, they have definitely done that. Um, I have not found a redstone biome yet. I have not looked around yet. But um, I'm just going to display the uh, crafting recipes right now. So let me switch. Actually, let me get myself some of this. Um, get some sticks. Just change my game mode. So, uh, redstone sword, right here, as you can see, it worked perfectly. Um, pickaxe, also worked. Axe, 
and if you saw that, also the redstone hoe, um, redstone rod right here, the, uh, what else did I create? Oh, yeah. Um, let's give myself some actual redstone. Uh, so you can, since this was shapeless, you could create a uh, redstone ingot any way you wanted to. You can create two, so it's not a waste. That doesn't work, obviously, but, um, yeah, so I can just throw those around any way I want to. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, oops, oh, uh, yeah, um, a little bit of a conflict there, um, with my redstone dust and my redstone glowstone, uh, it, it's supposed to be that if you put the redstone like that, it'll create redstone glowstone, um, but I just thought of it, and because I did a shapeless recipe, it's only gonna make ingots, so, uh, it's kind of unfortunate, but, oh well, uh, we can still go to the nether and find the uh, redstone glowstone that generated there. Um, so I'm going to just get some wheat so I can show the crafting recipe for... Um, oh, it's not in here. For uh, redstone cookies. So if I wanted to make some redstone cookies, it would make it like that. Um, so now if I sprint around a little bit and lose some hunger. I can uh, replenish it with these delicious redstone cookies. Oh, I think I'm on peaceful. So, oh, okay. no, I'm not. Okay, it's just taking a long time for me to lose hunger. Um, so, yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I can just show this really quickly. Uh, redstone sword. It's just like it should. And it has the durability that I gave it, uh, which would be 150 uses, if you remember. Um, I'm also going to show the, um, uh, the furnace recipe that I created. Let me just give some that to myself. Um, well, that was kind of pointless, what I just did, but, um, so I made it so you could do wooden planks. I, for, I think that just applies to all types of wooden planks. Turn them into charcoal. I'm going to use the redstone rod to smelt it, because um, if you remember, this should smelt 10. Yeah, and I definitely think that applies to all kinds of wooden planks. Uh, so this should create one charcoal, and it oh oh it just created a coal. Um, I didn't know that that was an issue or anything. Uh, it's not really a problem, but yeah. Uh, so it'll create coal, and it should create ten of those when it's done smelting. Uh, but you can see the redstone rod worked. Um, so I'm actually going to stop recording and try to go find a redstone biome so we can see the mob I created. So I will be back. From I did find these guys, which are my redstone snowmen, and they move kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I kind of like how they look. Um, and so uh, if I was not in creative mode, they'd be attacking me right now, and they'd probably beat me because I don't really have any tools or anything. So here, I'll try to give myself a sword and uh, do a fend these guys off. So he's gonna come at me now. Um, so right now mobs are still in development, so they don't make noise, um, and they- oh, oh, oh no, okay. <laughs> they don't make any noise, um, and, uh, you can't adjust their at attack strength just yet, but as you can see, I did get redstone snowballs from that. Uh, if you remember, I did not, um, I did not actually make them do anything, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I realized that I forgot to change the, uh, mobs to the biome specific to the redstone biome, 
So these guys, they just kind of spawn anywhere, like a aggressive mob would. Uh, and, oh, wow, these guys are aggressive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's lame. Yeah, but, oh, oh, okay, we're not gonna die. Not today. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm just going to, I almost just tried to type mine Z spawn. Um, I'm going to do, I'm just going to go check on my furnace here see if how the progress with that went but uh, as you can see over here there's a lot of light coming because I have these redstone glowstone blocks uh, and yeah so it did smelt to 10 and uh, so now even though I could not find a redstone biome um, at the moment I'm just gonna go to the nether and I'm going to try to locate some Redstone, glowstone. And I made that too tall. Oh, what? <laughs> that looked funny. Looked like a stubby portal. So... Now we're just going to go to the nether. And... Uh, Oh, look what we have here. No. Okay, you know this. Yeah, so that actually actually looks pretty cool. Um, so it obviously, um, because I'm in creative mode, it is um, not dropping anything when I break it. But if I do survival, uh, it drops the four redstone dust that I assigned it to drop. And, uh, so that, so all, all turned out well with that. Um, and that's actually pretty cool. Some of it did generate in the ceiling. I'm getting a lot of lag right now. But, um, yeah. So I'm, uh, going to stop recording and start looking for that redstone biome again. And, wow, that's a lot of zombie pigmen. So I will be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I have found a redstone biome. It was not exactly what I was expecting, uh, because I'm in it right now. If you look at my F3 information over there, it says redstone biome. Um, so I figured that the grass and foliage was going to be a uh, reddish color, and uh, it did. It is not, because uh, I'm in it right now. But uh, the good news is that the water is, and so I think that that looks really cool. So. Uh, you could make multicolored waterfalls or something like that. Uh, you know. uh, so yeah, anyways, um, that pretty much wraps up this uh, tutorial. Um, so if I had uh, made the snowmen be... Uh, if I had changed the uh, fill blocks and uh, uh, the top block, this, this would have looked a lot different from the regular biome that it looks like. I could have made this a little cooler. But uh, you, you get the main idea. As you can see over here, some of these uh, water blocks are in the redstone biome, so they're kind of faded in. Um, yeah, so uh, that that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. So um, I hope that you found this um, series helpful. I'm going to be doing one last video that just kind of goes over um, texturing uh, items and um, mobs. Um, so if anybody has difficulty with that they can just look at that video so anyways um thank you for watching and uh sandwich one